In 1828, when his political opponents called him a jackass, Andrew Jackson adopted that stubborn creature as his personal emblem. In my opinion, he was more of a monster than a jackass, especially if you were a Native American or one of his victims of street violence. But it was Andrew Jackson who first associated the Democratic Party with donkeys. It is 188 years later and the 2016 Democratic Convention is coming to Philadelphia next week. Which is why back on June 20th, I drove out to a giant shipyard in Northeast Philadelphia to film the progress of a fascinating public art project. My name is Karen Kunkel and we are at the Tioga Marine Terminal with Donkeys Around Town. Which is a civic project being run by the host committee for the DNC. Former Governor Ed Rendell, who was Governor of Pennsylvania and Mayor of Philadelphia, gave me a call at the beginning of the year and said that he has this great idea for the Democratic National Convention and he would love to see an art project happening that represents all 57 states and territories. After I learned my 57 states and territories, I got to work matching artists and art organizations to this project. That's kind of what I excel at and that's what artjohn.com does. We connect local artists to local resources. Row fabricators provided the donkeys and shipped them here. The Mural Arts Program of Philadelphia provided the project coordination for the paint supplies being ordered, the tarps being laid down, and some of the artists as well. So we had an open call for the artists. They all applied through Archon.com by submitting a portfolio of their work, their education and exhibition history, and letting us know why they wanted to paint a donkey. Karen told me everyone involved with donkeys around town is extremely grateful to this shipyard for donating free space for the artists to work. But stevedores sometimes question artists just a little bit. It's been interesting to watch. The head of the shipyard came and told me that he had to reassure people many, many times that our donkeys were not alive, <laughs> <laughs> which is probably one of my favorite factoids from this project. We've been here working for about four days so far. We'll have another five days to finish up the donkeys. Karen told me that the delegates from the 2012 Democratic Convention submitted six images for each state or territory. They told the artist to use at least three of these six images per donkey. The artist then created designs that were reviewed by the 2016 delegates, who provided some feedback. A bit of a cumbersome system, perhaps, but because of the great creativity of the participating artists, as he would, things have worked out amazingly well. These 57 donkeys will be installed all over Philadelphia, accessible by foot. You can find a map and a list of all the locations, as well as all of the profiles for the artists on artjohn.com. I got to talk to a bunch of these artists on the sultry day that I visited. It was really hot in the 90s, but they were all super cool. I'm Barbara Sawson. I have been painting for 50 years. I'm a Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts graduate. At the age 27, I started Sawson Design, a graphic design business that specialized in fine art, and that supported my career my whole life. Barbara has painted both representationally and non-objectively. I move back and forth. Over a period of years, I may paint realists for maybe five or six years, and then all of a sudden I go back to non-objective painting, which I love too. And this is an interesting combination because Texas insisted by the graphics that they supplied me, they were all hard edge graphics, so that's no problem, I could do that. Texas is gonna be all hard edge stars, and so, and that won't take long. And Iowa, I had ears 
like a New York cord, and they didn't want that. Their image now is wind. They're one of the largest supplier of windmills. I'm doing their capital building, the Mississippi, their flower, uh, windmills, a cornfield still, but not ears of corn. <laughs> Brian Cesario. I went to Tyler School of Art, and I'm doing Kentucky and Tennessee. On Kentucky, we have Daniel Boone, the Daniel Boone National Forest, Abraham Lincoln, because it's the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln, the Kentucky Derby, and Kentucky Bourbon. Tennessee, we have the Chattanooga Choo Choo, Beale Street, Grand Ole Opry, musical notes and the state flag. Are you a painter? I am a painter, yes. I studied at Tyler for four years. Are you a realist in real life? Yes. <laughs> in real life, I'm a realist. <laughs> I do some photorealistic things as well as abstract, but primarily realist painter. Uh -huh. Have you ever painted on a three-dimensional animal before? I have painted on three-dimensional objects, but never, uh, never an animal. Do you want to urge the Democrats to have a successful convention? Yes. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm involved in this. Hi, my name is Sarah Ryan, and I have the states of Alaska and North Carolina. For Alaska, I am painting Mount Denali, and they wanted a moose, forget-me-nots, and salmon. And for North Carolina, they wanted cardinals, dogwood flowers, and Longleaf Pines, Lighthouse, and the Foothills. So. And did you go to art school? Or are you a... No. You're just a self-trained artist? Yeah, yeah. I'm not that great at school, so yeah. How did you learn how to paint? I took some classes in high school. I took a couple in community college, started school, but mostly I guess it's on my own. Both of my grandfathers painted, and my brother is an artist too, so I guess. Boy, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it's just practice and putting time into it. Do you do paintings on canvases at home? And No, usually I work in watercolor and pencil, so this is a little bit different for me too. How do you paint the lines? Is there a special brush? Or... <laughs> I used a paint pen because the surface is rough, so getting it done with the brush didn't work. I really like your style. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you. My name is Colleen McCubbin Stepanek and I'm here painting Nevada and Colorado. And I'm having fun right now painting a skier for the state of Colorado. And where do you get your reference material? They send it to you? They did send us a lot of reference material and I also look stuff up online. I see you have a little device. Uh, yeah, I'm using the Kindle because I, I can see the images better there. Although I also have paintings and prints and a lot of other stuff. What's your art background? I'm a painter. Went to the Tyler School of Art for my master's in 2003 and I've been in Philly for a little while now. So it's great. Have you ever done anything like this where your art will be out in the public? Not quite as public as this, no. But I have lots of plans now. The next time I paint a fiberglass donkey, I've got all kinds of tips. <laughs> I'm Peter Dalkner. I'm half of the creative team, uh, along with my wife, Eleanor Croche. Peter, it looks like you're just getting started. Am I correct about that? A bit, yeah. This is a different game for us, my wife and myself, because we're primarily digital artists. And it's been a while since we've been tasked with putting physical paint on objects that's not my house. <laughs> so it's been a process getting back up to speed with these familiar jobs, mixing paint. How many uh, more days paint. do you have? Ah, uh, gosh. I want to say we have about uh, five or six days left. And that's think. enough time? Oh, certainly, yeah. For us, a lot of the project, the designs revolve around patterns and colors and shapes. So most of my time today is spent getting some stencils ready and projecting some patterns onto the donkeys and getting that stuff all drawn in. Hey, my name is Ellen Tiberino, Puerto Rico, and uh, Democrats abroad. <laughs> I'm a mosaic artist. That's my primary style that I like to work in. And I was raised around painting. I painted when I was younger, but in later years, mosaic art. It's my primary form of art. 
So this project's a bit of a challenge, but... Are these pieces of ceramic that you're cutting? No, stained glass and glass tile. Oh, and can these go outside? Will the... It's waterproof. Is the whole guy going to be covered with these? No, 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 no. Nobody has time for that. <laughs> and you also have to consider the weight, so it's going to be just more of an accent. Hence the uh, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Hawk Crawl, illustrator from Philadelphia. I am working on New Hampshire right here, and New Jersey is uh, right behind it. Uh huh. Are you gonna close any bridges in New Jersey? No, there are no. Not gonna close any bridges. No references to Bridgegate. New Hampshire has Pemigewasset covered bridge on one side, and the other side has the New Hampshire State House, a ballot box that says First in the Nation, referencing their primaries. Oh, and then there's the Old Man on the Mountain, which is a naturally occurring sculpture of an old man's face. But I think it actually recently crumbled. And then I have a sort of patriotic motif going on. And then for New Jersey, they gave me some really good local pop culture stuff. You got the TikTok Diner, which has a nice sign that says Eat Heavy with a clock on it. <laughs> um, Frank Sinatra is on there. The New Jersey State Seal, also the Trenton Bridge. I've got like an Atlantic City boardwalk scene with no Trump Towers included. So they have Sinatra but not Springsteen? No, no Springsteen. Mm. Oh, I didn't think mm. about that. Yeah. Mm. Or Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi's from, he's from Jersey yeah. too, right? Yep. Yeah. I would have picked Bon Jovi, but it's just me. My name's Jaleda Nicole, and I'm a Philadelphia portrait artist. What states did you get? I have South Carolina and West Virginia. This is West Virginia, and this is the, um, the River Gorge Bridge. And then this is for South Carolina, and this oh. is the Myrtle Beach one. That's on the other side of that donkey over there. And I'm excited to be a part of the DNC, Donkeys Around Town. Oh, so a little play on words, the Democratic National <laughs> Convention and the Donkeys Around Town. Yes, that's right. But I keep it strictly about the art. <laughs> Have you been to either West Virginia or South Carolina? I haven't, actually, but I'm looking forward to it now. Do uh, you want to say something to the residents of those two wonderful states? Yes, I hope that you enjoy my pictures for you guys and that I'll see you around. Hi, I'm Joy Waldinger and my two states are North Dakota and Washington and I went to Tyler School of Art. I am currently teaching at the Charter High School for Architecture and Design as a sustainable furniture design teacher. I have been really involved with the City of Philadelphia and the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Wagner Free Institute of Art and Science. I came across this opportunity through the Mural Arts Program, whom I also work for, for their Arts and Artists Outdoors Program. I found out about this opportunity and I thought it was a great way to connect as an artist and as a person who wants to make change in our world. The various symbols that I'm incorporating into North Dakota involve a wreath of flowers around the donkey's neck because North Dakota is the Peace Garden State. I have wheat coming up from the bottom of the donkey and I'm also including a skull of a bison. For Washington, I'm including a bunch of salmon swimming against the current of a lavender field. I'm a really big fan of Washington and enjoy looking at photos of the lavender fields, which look like a really wonderful place to just be absorbed into nature. Have you ever been there? I have not been to either of these states. It's definitely on my to-do list. I have some friends and family in those areas, so I'm hoping to take a road trip and hit both of these places up. Catherine Pennebacher. <laughs> So my states are Rhode Island and the Northern Mariana Islands. I do murals all around the city. Often they're paintings to look like textiles and carpets. As a weaver, this project was interesting because I was looking for pattern and color and motifs. Weaving is very time intensive and meticulous and detail oriented. When I paint, I love to tap into intuitive, impulsive, 
just be creative. So I'm always saying to myself, just paint, Catherine, enjoy the process. So it's beautiful to work with colleagues that are, are doing some beautiful detail work. For me, I'm finding the pattern, the texture, the, the repeat nuance in, in the donkey. <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm up to. Another hat that I wear beside Weaver and Painter is I'm a caretaker at historic Grumblethorpe in Germantown and I take care of 18 chickens with my sweetheart and so uh, it's kind of fun for me getting ready to paint the, the Rhode Island red chickens. Hi, I'm Lynette Shelley. I'm a professional artist. I've been doing it now almost 10 years since I quit my day job. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. It's a very interesting experience. I've never done a big public art project before, so this is kind of a learning curve for me. But it's getting a lot of publicity and it's a challenge, but I think it's really interesting. Do you know anything about the states that you're doing? I've never been there. I did uh, look up certain things, like I know Oklahoma has a lot of Native American influences, so I've been trying to study some of them. I learned about the survivor tree, which is one of my symbols. When the Oklahoma City bombing happened, the survivor tree survived the, the blast, and so now it's like a monument. The donkeys are surprisingly not that heavy. I can lift one up. Most people here have been able to lift them up. But what they're going to do is they're going to mount them to a stand when they're done, along with the plaque on it with the project name and the artist's name. And then they're going to be about 250 pounds, so they're sturdier and people can't just walk off with them. <laughs> so the most fun part of doing this whole entire donkey is I had to give it a pedicure yesterday. We had to put it up on some buckets to get it off the ground. I got to paint its, its toenails, so I thought that was really fun. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Michelle Ostrabon, and uh, I'm painting donkeys for Illinois and Indiana. Right now I'm just doing the base coat. Indiana is based on the flag, and they're bicentennial, or I guess more than that. It's 1816 to 2016. Illinois and Chicago is where Obama hails from and Hillary. Tomorrow I'm preparing for the symbols, the signs and symbols for each state. But yeah, this is just the beginning. <laughs> Do you think you have enough time to get it all done? Uh, cross your fingers. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, we can make it happen. Michelle, I just saw you at the Woodmere show, and you had told me that you are mostly doing collages. Have you been painting also? I have did a mural last year with Mural Arts Program. Yeah, so I'm used to working architecturally in drawing modes and then also on the easel. So I think of myself as a hybrid. Whatever the situation presents itself, I'm interested in trying to tackle it. Yeah, and make it work from my point of view. My name is Morgan Thomas Shankweiler. And the states I got are Maine and Maryland. And I went to Williams College and studied art and sociology. Karen Kunkel called me up and said, you've sort of been out of the scene because you just had a couple babies. This is a project that you definitely ought to get involved with. So I applied and was lucky enough to be selected to paint a donkey. Have you ever painted a three-dimensional object before? I have. I actually painted an elephant in India, like a live one. That was kind of cool. And I've done, in a previous life, a lot of black and white mural work installation work. Williams graduate and extremely hardworking artist takes <laughs> an iPhone break. Uh, I'm looking up some crabs. Oh, doing crab research. Yes, gotta save some photos so I have the right ones. Are you happy with the state you got? I am. I especially love Maine. I spend every summer up there. Maryland is where we keep our boat, so we sail down at Hanses Point Yacht Club in Maryland. You rode your bike from West Philadelphia? <laughs> yeah, I don't have a car. <laughs> I like riding my bike. My name is Sam Spetner. My states are Vermont and Massachusetts. I didn't go to school for painting. I think I just learned to paint by painting. I guess I'm still learning to paint. <laughs> You're the only artist who's out in this 94 degree blazing sun. Are you just a glutton for punishment? I can actually see out here. <laughs> it's pretty dark in that warehouse and I was having trouble mixing colors under those other lights. So 
I dragged it out here. But there is shade and there is a breeze every now and then, so it's sort of nice. I like being alone. Vermont was pretty straightforward, some graphic green mountains and cow pattern and a marriage equality symbol. And then Massachusetts, I took elements from the state seal, the banner and the tulip and primrose, and made a graphic layout on the donkey. I'd say that the Massachusetts one is more moving away from the form of a donkey, not really embracing the form of a donkey, but covering it sort of in a Louis Vuitton style pattern of, uh, of state seal. Hi, my name is Serena Saunders. They gave me Arizona and New Mexico. I was a performing arts high school for visual art. I did a few years at Tyler School of Art. More recently, I did a little bit of time at Moore College of Art and Design just to kind of freshen up on some painting and color. I've been a full-time artist for 10 years. And how did you hear about this program? I heard about it from Instagram. An Instagram post told me about it, and then I went to artjohn.com and put up a profile and applied to be one of the artists. Is it fun? It's awesome. It's amazing, actually. I was really geeked about the idea of painting a donkey. Way more fun than one would imagine. <laughs> yes. I have had art on three-dimensional objects. I do some sculpture. So this isn't anything totally new to you? It being an animal is totally new, <laughs> yes. And it being for something political is also totally new. So that's another component that I'm really attracted to, is doing something that's involved with politics. It's nice. The two states they gave you, New Mexico and Arizona, do you have any idea why you got those two? No idea at all. <laughs> no idea, but a lot of cactus and rocks. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been out there? I have not yet, but I look forward to My name is Nora Einbender-Lukes. I went to SUNY Purchase, and I was assigned Oregon and Wyoming State. I'm just very into this project. It's a wonderful way to connect artists in the tri-state area. This is something very new for me. I'm so used to working 2D. I studied printmaking, so a lot of it was flat, flat surfaces, flat, flat imagery, which is what I still do, and I've carried that over into painting, especially in these designs. I've enjoyed experimenting with paint in a way that I can access my printmaking background, just stylistically. For Oregon State, I have included Cannon Beach, Crater Lake, and the Painted Hills. I've also depicted the state flower and grape, and then some mountain designs, as well as the ocean. And then for Wyoming, Bison, Bear Lodge, Western-style houses, Bighorn Mountains. It looks like you have a ways to go. Are you <laughs> pushing the panic button yet? Not yet. I think when I first came in, I was freaking out, but now I've found my routine, and I'm trying to remain zen throughout the process. My name is Taylor Hickman. I'm a recent PAFA graduate, finishing my degree at Penn right now. I'm really excited. I have Utah and Virginia. I'm a collage artist, so I don't usually work in this vein at all. And so it's really exciting to be using like acrylic and working on this scale. You're doing a great job. Thank you. So do you do a little research into the states, the seagull? The California gull is the um, Utah state bird. I just learned that when the Mormons first settled in Utah, there was a plague of locusts that was affecting their agriculture. and all the gulls ate the locusts and saved the agriculture business out there. And so that's why it's their state bird. Have you ever been to Utah? No, but it's a dream of mine. I was telling Karen because I'm a big hiker and so I want to go to Arches National Park, which is on the other side of my donkey. Well, Taylor, there will be plenty of hiking all around Philadelphia for anyone who wants to see these 57 magnificent beasts. I made a separate movie about my friend and art school roommate, Edgar Jarens. So he's getting short shrift in this movie. Sorry, Edgar. And I didn't get to talk to all of the artists. So here are some of the other donkeys.
At the beginning of this film, I took a shot at Andy Jackson. But I, a very loyal Democrat, think our party has made great strides over the years. We get better and better and more open as time goes by. Here's hoping we have a very successful convention and that donkeys around town will put a smile on the faces of all who see them. You want to add anything, Karen Kunkel? The donkeys will be in place for the whole month of July and August, and then they'll be auctioned off on archon.com, so you can take your donkey home.